piece, I'm surprised, you know, that's how many songs I'm able to dance, how many songs, uh, 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 how many music I can recognize also in Serbia, and that's, it's not only in Greece, it's also in Albania, it's also in Macedonia and many other places. So I think it would be very important that we use these traditional cultural ties uh, in order to enhance uh, further uh, our political and also economic ties. There is still a, so to say, room to growth. Um, so I think that uh, you need a little bit more courage on a regional level, probably a little bit more push also from the headquarters, meaning Brussels, in order to revive those cultural ties that countries are spending purposely money on getting to know each other better in different aspects, because there is an amazing level of similarity in the region that can be explored and should be actually explored to a larger extent. You know, the problem is that uh, most of the, of the intercultural tensions have to do with the stereotyping of the other part. So you simply don't understand what the other part is all about. You make a sort of mock image of what it is, which serves your pre pre prejudices, basically. So the problem is that cultural participation is simply killing this. I mean, when people participate in common projects and get to know each other much better, this kind of stereotyping is much more difficult. It's not incidental that xenophobic kind of initiatives are in general root very well in people with very low rates of cultural participation. As usually caravans goes like the circle because the caravans is the best way of the cultural dialogue. Uh, historically caravans doing uh, the trade but in this trade historically there was already the big part of the cultural exchange and now we decide through Soul for Europe to make the trade of ideas and this is I think main, main goal for us to bring new ideas to new places and bring already new ideas from these new places otherwise there will be no continuity for the forums and there will, might be no future for the different projects which burn in each cities. With the Lisbon Treaty, we have now a, foreign, a common foreign policy, and this common foreign policy is to be seen also in foreign uh, relations, uh, external relations uh, bodies, which means ambassadors and so on. And we, we from Soul of Europe and myself as parliamentarian, we said we should first, uh, first uh, strengthen the idea of bringing culture in this so-called embassies, which means European culture, to give a platform for European cultures because there are so many cultures in these different embassies that we are not only proposing our, our trade relations, our economy uh, things, but also our different countries. It sets the framework and I think uh, by setting the framework it affects how this new kind of uh, politics is going to evolve and uh, in the last uh, few decades we've seen the rise of um, cultural phenomena such as the internet for example and uh, that has shaped the current global movements and uh, changing global politics very much. I think that's going to continue. And uh, that's a mutual pr uh, process. As culture shapes these, it also gets shaped by these movements. But they have also, how to say, instrumentalized the, the, uh, some of the European Parliament to, to, to make some efforts to bring the Commission to work, for example, on uh, culture and regional policy and culture and structural policy. So I think this is a way to, to, to to, to influence some stakeholders, or more stakeholders in the society and in political life. And we have created a workshop in the European Parliament with the name Give Europe a Soul to, to bring people not only from the Culture Committee but from all the different committees together and to think of it and then to bring this out of, out of the Parliament's premises. Well, when I was talking about the cultural ties between the EU and Serbia, I tried to, to force a little bit uh, more cultural ties actually also in the region, between the regional countries, because uh, as some of the people said, everybody's looking to Brussels, everybody's looking to Berlin, but nobody sees that his neighbor is looking there as well, meaning that I think that the road of uh, Serbia to Brussels actually leads via Sarajevo, leads via Tirana, Leeds via Skopje and many regional countries because I think one of the main reasons why it takes us so long to the European Union because we are not enough locally integrated. If, if you have a beautiful bus 
and the water is very good for your health, but you have nothing around. Um, you know, nobody would stay there very long. So they they are rediscovering culture yeah? and, 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 and quality tourism. And here we are, we are at cultural heritage management. So for a new kind of, um, for a new Europe, um, this is going to be a solution, a combination of wellness, well-being, yeah? quality <laughs> tourism, historical tourism, learning, permanent learning, mm? and also a sort of um, sustainable business, because that is uh, the way how culture can help to sustain a relatively underdeveloped region. There is on one side the attitude to think of culture of something that has not really to do with economy, that at most absorbs resources, and it has to do with just free time and leisure, so it's not really important as an engine of development for Europe. On the other side, there is a very narrow-minded focusing on those cultural industries that make profits as if they were independent from the whole cultural ecology that produces discontents. All these two attitudes are both sons of the 20th century idea of culture. In the 21st century, culture is taking a quite more central place in the social and economic organization. Culture, if we understand it um, in its complexities, in a very complex way, um, is offering tremendous opportunities for good business. But this needs to be explored. This is very far from the present paradigm, which is um, short-termism, short-term profit-oriented way of thinking from the business side, uh, and materialistic, doesn't understand values and culture, and the importance of changing of values and value systems. So I think here we have a chance that these two groups, those who believe in culture, represent culture and civil society, and those who represent um, business, can meet, and of course we need the third one, we need uh, the government, local, regional, national, European, whatever, um, to help these two um, poles to find each other and find common denominators.